Hey, this is the part two to the video that I did previously, earlier tonight, about this so-called second election. And for this video, I just wanted to share some more of my thoughts and opinions on this subject. And I'd like to thank those commenting on my previous video, and thank everyone's comments and likes, and any participation they had in this subject. Thank you. But anyway... I wanted to say that I tend to believe that this so-called second election is more of a manipulation thing than it is an M.E. Um, I tend to think that maybe they are pushing this second election because I can't find any documentation supporting uh, the existence of a second election even here in our at least not much uh, in my research. I've never heard of this, and I can't even really find anything except on this .gov website, archives.gov. So this leads me to believe that maybe this is just some kind of a law that the current administration decided to throw out there, or maybe, they ha or maybe they're just now coming up with this in order to sway things in, or a, as a last-ditch effort to sl sway things in a direction that they prefer. Um, that's where my thoughts are tending to sway on this subject. November 8th has always been the election day. And I remember the last several elections, I remember, uh, I barely remember when I was young, the, the Bush administration, uh, his last, let's see, I remember that when he was running against Al Gore, I mean, Al Gore, run, Al Gore won the popular vote, but Bush won the Electoral College vote. So, Bush became president. George Bush became president. And there was nothing we could do about it then. Nothing we the people, the population, could do about it then. And just think about this. The people, the population, couldn't do anything. They weren't even thinking about us then. Now they're saying that the people's vote should have mattered that more people voted for Hillary Clinton this time than they did Donald Trump. But that wasn't a factor during the Bush administration's election against Al Gore. He won the popular vote. Bush won the Electoral College vote. Did they do a second election then? Can, do you find anything about a second election? Or even did you even hear about that during previous administrations? You didn't hear anything about that. They just said, well, Bush is president. Last time they said during the uh, rigging issue that they had with uh, the uh, election booths during the last election with Romney and Obama, they had an issue. And I remember posting, I remember seeing videos being posted on YouTube um, about that. And then all of a sudden they said, Obama has won. It was a, co a close call, but he's officially won. He's the president. Uh, Obama's the next president of the United States. They didn't have a second election then. When Bush won, it was, well, Bush is president. He, he's the president of the United States. No second election then. I can't find, and if you can find documentation, please, please share it. But I didn't hear anything about a second election then. Electors meeting, uh, I didn't hear anything about the Electoral Congress voting again on January 6th or January, or December 19th. I never heard anything about a second election on December 19th during the previous administration's elections. Um, I, you didn't hear us fussing about this. We might have complained about certain issues, but there was not a thing we could do about it, so we just had to put up with it. But now you hear everyone complaining about the current administration that has been sworn in, or hasn't been sworn in yet, but is elected, we think, and so far anyway, it seems. But it seems like the uh, this whole issue never came about during previous administrations. They just pushed them in there, that was it. George Bush, well, he's president. He won the electoral votes. Nothing said. No problem there. Obama, he got it. He got the correct amount of electors. That's all he needed. People, 
you know, he got it. Nothing said. Enough said. The next morning, they said, he's our next president. No questions asked. I don't remember anything about a second election even being an issue. Now, this time, when it's a president that they don't particularly support, actually, they blatantly don't support him, and now that it's someone they don't, that's when you hear this whole issue about a second election. So, that's just what I wanted to say. That's been my rambles for this video, how you didn't hear anything about the second election until someone that they don't want in office has been elected. And if you looked in the news, you can see them saying, you better vote uh, against him. You better vote against him this time. So, a lot of corruption going on there. A lot of corruption. And I... I'm tending to think, in my mind, I really believe that this is just some kind of a thing they have come up with all of a sudden in or as a last-ditch effort to sway things in a political direction that they prefer. So, I might do another video on this in the future, but that's my part two to the original video about this quote-unquote so-called second election. And let me know what you think. Uh, please, please do, um, I appreciate the support, the comments, and everything you share. But yes, I do believe this to be something they have come up with recently in order to persuade the masses and sway things in the direction that they politically prefer for more control. That's my words. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. Peace and love to you all. Many blessings. Bye.